Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion for Saturday the 7th of August, 2021. Everyone needs a little help sometimes. After all, no one is meant to go through life alone. For Christians, that's first and foremost where God comes in is always by your side, but after God comes you. Life is not a bed of roses. With the coronavirus pandemic, you can see that we need each other more than ever before. We cannot exist in isolation. I support you not because you are a charity case, but because there is no me without you, and there is no you without me. Only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. The thing we need most is each other. No one does anything alone. You can help friends and family get through life's big and small obstacles and they will do the same for you. One of the ways you can demonstrate your love for the Lord is to be compassionate and caring towards those you encounter here on earth. Even small gestures can mean a great deal. Jesus loves in an extraordinary, incredible way. It's up to you to take the love you receive from Him and find ways to bring that love and goodwill into your community. The strongest people make time to help others even if they struggle with their own personal problems. I believe the world is one big family and we need to help each other. The short word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. This week's title for the short word for today's series is Mental Illness, How Can I Help? Part 7 of 7. The promises God gives us in His word can give us hope and direction as we trust in Him. Knowing the promises of God can help you in your daily life to be able to navigate both big and small decisions and to conquer fear, temptation, and danger. The truth shall set you free. The affirmation for this week's short word for today, God is my stronghold. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 8. Here is the Bible verse quote. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. Unquote. The definition of curing is someone or something that shows kindness and concern for others. A person who is concerned about others and who does kind things for them is an example of someone who will be described as caring. Caring for someone with mental health problems can be particularly challenging because mental health problems are not seen and the support can be more emotional than practical. Carers often don't see themselves as carers. As a carer, you need support as well. As with all caring, it's so important to also look after yourself. Caring for someone with mental health problems can be highly stressful and emotionally draining. It's hard, but try and find time for your own health, relaxation, and social life. Mental health problems can affect moods, emotions, and behaviors. You may feel as if their personality is changing and not the person they used to be. This can affect your relationship. Your relationship might feel unbalanced or like you only do caring things together. It can help to try and see the mental health problem as something separate from you both. Try to think of it as an external challenge to deal with together. Your mental health is important too. You need to decide how much support you can offer and when to put your own needs first. Look after
after yourself by setting time aside to pursue activities that you enjoy and spend time with loved ones not affected by the situation. Be aware of your own safety when caring for someone with a severe mental illness. If you ever feel threatened or unsafe, you must remove yourself and any children from danger straight away. When you take on being a carer for someone with a mental illness, it is good to think through what is involved and how it will affect your life. Do some research into mental illness and research the different kinds of mental health treatment available. Talk to others who have cared for someone in a similar situation and think about the type of emotional, financial and practical support you will need. When things get overwhelming, remember that you are not alone. This is the end of the Sure Word Audio Devotion series titled Mental Illness, How Can I Help? Please stay tuned for the declaration of the Sure Word Capsule, the creative power of the Word of God. The Word of God, conceived in the heart, formed by the tongue, and spoken out of the mouth is creative power. No matter what you are going through, you have the creative power in your tongue to change and turn things in your favor. Join me today to speak life into your circumstances so you can live above your challenges. Repeat every word I read and be blessed. Do not leave gaps in this recording. I will join you to repeat the short word capsule. Please read after me. Today is a brand new day. Today is a brand new day. I am so excited and looking forward to today. I am so excited and looking forward to today. I want to take this opportunity, I want to take this opportunity to thank God for keeping me alive, to thank God for keeping me alive, to see another day, to see another day, a day filled with goodness and lots of possibilities, a day filled with goodness and lots of possibilities. It is a day that the Lord has made, it is a day that the Lord has made, and I am going to rejoice, and I am going to rejoice. And I will be glad about today. And I will be glad about today. Today, I am confident. Today, I am confident that I will possess my possession. That I will possess my possession. I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning feeling very positive. Feeling very positive and optimistic about today. And optimistic about today. Now. I will get up and kickstart my day. Now, I will get up and kickstart my day without holding back, without holding back. I will increase and never decrease. I will increase and never decrease. I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. The works of my hands are blessed. The works of my hands are blessed. I take pride in the opportunities life has given me. I take pride in the opportunities life has given me. I will make good use of every opportunity at my disposal. I will make good use of every opportunity at my disposal. I am bold, focused and very courageous. I am bold, focused and very courageous. I will not allow any situation to discourage me. I will not allow any situation to discourage me. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. I conquer fear and failure. I conquer fear and failure. I am born to win. I am born to win. God sent his word and healed me. God sent his word and healed me from sickness and disease. From sickness and disease. The word of God has delivered me from destruction. The word of God has delivered me from destruction. My mind is renewed by the word of God. My mind is renewed by the word of God. God promised he will never leave or forsake me. God promised he will never leave or forsake me. I am not afraid anymore. I am not afraid anymore. I believe in God. I believe in God. And it is accounted unto me for righteousness. And it is accounted unto me for righteousness. I confess the word of God. 
I confess the word of God and my confessions are made unto salvation and my confessions are made unto salvation. The word of God has set me free. The word of God has set me free and I am free indeed and I am free indeed. I speak against depression and fear. I speak against depression and fear. I speak against every attack from the enemy. I speak against every attack from the enemy. I speak against everything that comes to destroy the purpose in my life. I speak against everything that comes to destroy the purpose in my life. God supplies all my needs, including my finances. God supplies all my needs, including my finances, according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. According to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So, I stand on the altar of supernatural supply. So, I stand on the altar of supernatural supply and decree financial increase to be my identity. And decree financial increase to be my identity. Finance, I command you right now to flood my life. Finance, I command you right now to flood my life. Money, come it to me now. Money, come it to me now. And I receive the abundance of God's supplies in Jesus' name. Amen. And I receive the abundance of God's supply in Jesus' name. Amen. We have reached the end of the Shoreward Audio Devotion and the Declaration of the Shoreward Capsule, the Creative Power of the Word of God. Please visit www.theshoreward.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs. You can also put a request for a capsule to be created for any challenge you are having. Thank you for listening and we will appreciate it if you can share this audio devotion. Have a gorgeous day and God bless you.